Hey everybody, this is Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble and I'm back at you with another recipe plan with me since it is Thursday and I do these every Thursday. So this is the Happy Planner Recipe Organizer. I will put a link in the description below so you can purchase it if you would like. And I do get um, a very small percentage of that sale. So just so you know, that's an affiliate link. Anyway, so today I'm doing a recipe that is my daughter Kaylee's favorite and it's called um, chicken and wine and it's a Campbell's soup recipe from like a long time ago and we make it all the time it's delicious and I'm just gonna pull out this page right here um, I was trying to figure out what how to decorate this and I don't know I was flipping through my sticker books and I saw in the color story book the new one I saw this page with these like these pages with the pretty colors and I thought well maybe some soft colors might look good I'm also going to be using the colorful boxes sticker book today just for something different in here so let's get started let's see so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do something different at the top. I usually just write the recipe right in there, but this time I'm gonna take this sticker here. I kind of just, I didn't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I kind of just looked at them, looked at the stickers ahead of time. So I'm gonna put this down. I don't know how this is actually gonna look. Um, I'm just gonna put this down here like so. Oh, that's crooked, hold on. These recipe pages can be kind of tricky um, if you're not used to them, but once you get used to them, they're kind of easy because you don't have to worry about much with these. You just kind of put the stickers down wherever you want. It's gonna look prettier than if you just write in a regular recipe book, you know? Okay, so I'll stick that down there. I know this is horizontal in the book, but I'm gonna use it vertically. And then I think I'm gonna white out this part. I should have done that first actually, but, so I'm gonna white out these lines just so that it looks, I don't know, a little bit better. I know some of you guys don't like the look of white out in your planners and stuff. I don't really mind it. I don't really notice it. So it's not a big deal to me. I get some comments once in a while saying, you know, that it looks bad because of the white out, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's my planner anyway, guys. I can do what I want and so can you. Okay, so now we have the Colorful Boxes book and I'm gonna take one of these big boxes. You can hear my dog barking again. This is her MO whenever I do a video. I'm gonna put it, hmm, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm just gonna stick that down right there. Now I'm gonna write the name of the recipe in here. The recipe I'm using is a, kind of a short one, so I don't need a lot of space for writing. Um, I'm just gonna write this in in pencil first in case I screw it up, the spacing and stuff. Again. Thanks, Bumble. Hey, that actually is very even. Imagine that. Um, now I'm just gonna do, maybe I'll do the in wine and kind of um, curse it. Whoa. She just ran into the door. She's a little rambunctious today. If I didn't have a dog, this whole planning thing would be a lot easier. Let me tell you that much. I can handle the cats sitting on my planner, but the dog whining at me is pretty annoying. Especially when I'm trying to talk to you guys. 
but then I wouldn't be planning with Bumble, I suppose, since her name is Bumble, anyway. So I'm just using my Tombow dual brush pen to just kind of trace these letters. This does not have to be perfect. It is not perfect in any way, but um, it just looks a little cuter than just writing it in regular small letters. Okay. So let's see, what am I gonna do now? That was the only thing I had planned out. Now I'm just winging it with everybody. Okay, so let me look at these other stickers here. I like this, I like this one. Um, I kind of wanted to save that for another spread, but I can maybe purchase another one of these books when it goes on sale, if I want to do that. I also like this wonderful sticker here, and I wanted to put it on top of something else. Let me come back to that one. I'm going to use this to start. And I'll put it up here at the top. just for kind of something pretty. I kind of like that. So I'm gonna list the ingredients here. Um, there's not a lot of ingredients, so this is not gonna be, um, let me see, I need some sort of bullet points though. How about, so these came from the Faith Warrior book, um, so I'm gonna use these. Bumble, you're killing me. I'm just gonna use these squares. Let me see, there's four ingredients. This is a really easy recipe. Sorry about that. So there's four of them. I'm just gonna do, oh, that's not very good. Let me get my, hold on, I'll stop this and let me get my um, tweezers. Hang on, okay. I think with these little icon stickers, tweezers are actually a lot easier because you can place them exactly where you want them. Sometimes it gets really tricky trying to get it down just right. See how much better that looks? Okay. I like these little squares. I really haven't used these much. Actually, I haven't used them at all. I like them. I think I'm just gonna use black pen. I keep thinking I'm going to change to colored in one of these recipes, but for now I'm sticking with black. That's kind of my go-to. And right now I'm using a Pentel Energel 0.7. This is one of my favorite pens. I use it um, in pretty much every spread. So we have six chicken breasts. Sorry if this is boring Want to watch me write, but I'm just gonna do this video live and not speed it up. One can cream of mushroom soup. You can use, I always use Campbell's, but you could use generic if you want. It probably won't be as good. I've used that before and it's not really as good. Oh, and I do like to use, um, one soup can wine. I do like to use like a double, one of those big cans because it makes more. I know it says one can here, but I like to use the bigger ones, like the family size ones, and then I'll just use a little bit more wine too. It makes more sauce. We like a lot of sauce with it. And one medium onion diced. Now the onion, honestly, I will tell you, I leave it out almost every time because I'm lazy and it's a pain. It does taste better with it, but I don't use it and it's still really good. You can also do this recipe in the crock pot. This is a difficulty of one, this is a really easy recipe. You can also do this in the crock pot. Um, I know my daughter does it in the crock pot and she says it's excellent. I have not tried it in the crock pot, but I think it would be a lot easier and really good. So serves about six. Main ingredients, chicken. Uh, 
I know in my last couple videos I was putting up here where the recipe came from. I'm not gonna do it this time because I know that this is just a Campbell's recipe. It did not come from anyone in my family or friends or anything like that. Prep time and cook time, I, you know, not really that long. Cook time is about an hour. Prep time, I don't know. You always have to estimate the prep time. I kind of don't even like prep time. Let's say 10 minutes, I don't know. I kind of don't even like having to do that. Um, temperature, it's 325 degrees. Sometimes I do this at 350. I don't know, it all depends. You can't really mess this up too much. It was pretty easy. So I don't think I'm gonna leave this black preparation thing here. I think what I'll do is get some washi tape. And I did not plan this ahead, so bear with me. I've got a drawer of washi over here I'm just looking through right now. And maybe I will use some of that. I really love the scallop washi. I know you guys might be sick of that, but I love that. that. This is a little too bright, I think, though. Let's see what other colors I have. I also have this one might work. Let me see. These are all, well, that's a Happy Planner brand washi. Maybe, maybe this one. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Don't turn off the, don't turn off the video. I promise I'm coming back. Hold on. How about pink? Let me see. Let me just try these out. I could use this one and that one. This scalp washi is from Doodlebug Design or Designs. Love it. Mm, it's a little bright too. Uh, I just love scallop everything for some reason. It makes me happy. That actually looks really cute together. So I'm going to do both of those. So what I'll do first is take my Tombow correction tape, wipe this part out. There's a cat hair on it wipe this out here and I am going to first I'll place this one down go right along that line there you got to be careful when you put down washi tape if you stretch it too far It'll kind of warp your paper. I have the I have the tendency to do that to try to pull it too much. I'm just gonna take my craft knife here and cut this off at the end. I'm gonna cut it off right here as well. I could try to get it exactly there instead of cutting it off. I prefer to just use the craft knife because it's easier for me rather than trying to place it exactly on the line when I start it, if you know what I mean. I know it wastes a tiny bit of washi, but not much. Okay. See, it's already stretching the paper, but okay. Put that down there. You know what, I'm gonna white out that little bit there that you see through the washi because this pink washi is really um, see-through. Really transparent, that looks better. I should have done that on the, the turquoise one too, but that doesn't really look that bad. Okay, pull that up and then cut it on this side. Okay, I like that. I think that looks really cute, something different. I don't usually use these colors together so it's kind of fun. Okay, so I'll put this on before I cut myself. The next thing I'm going to do is write down my steps down here. Let me see what other colors I have here. I could do these, I could do, maybe I'll do these. I don't know, that's kind of bright for it. Or I could use these little guys. I think I'm gonna do that. Use these little flowers. I don't know whether to call these flowers or asterisks. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but I like them. I do. I can't get it like that. 
I always take it off with my fingers and then grab the tweezers. Grab it with the tweezers from my fingers. I don't know, for some reason that's easier for me. Not a lot of steps to this recipe, so uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I guess I'll have to do four steps. Okay, so the first step is salt and pepper chicken. Place, I guess you're supposed to do this first, but <laughs> place in ungreased casserole dish. Okay. Now, oops. Now this next step, I don't always do this. You can do this recipe without this step. In fact, I hardly ever do this one, but this was what it called for. To brown it a little bit. You could also brown it in a pan, I suppose. That just makes more mess. Okay, well, my third little flower here. Let's see, remove and you know what, it doesn't say to hmm, combine it. Well, you're supposed to combine the wine and the mushroom and the onion. All right, add. Gonna put combine those first in a separate bowl and now one last thing this is about the easiest recipe you can make super super easy For one hour at 325 degrees. If you don't have a lot of time, you can actually bake this for like 45 minutes at 350 or even higher if you want. It'll be a little tougher though. Okay, serve with rice or noodles. We always serve it with rice, but I'm gonna put or noodles. Okay. I'll leave these here in case I need them. So now I'm done with the recipe and I have all this room left over, so let's decorate a little bit here. I really like that wonderful sticker that I saw, this one, but I wanna, it has a white backing, so I'd like to put it on something. So I'm trying to figure out what to put that on. There's not a lot here to use. Oh wait, what's this? Um, even so, I don't really see, I don't think I want to use these. Do I? I'm not sure I want to bring in any rose gold foil in here. Um, I could get some scrapbook paper. Let me see. Let's see what this would look like. Looks, I don't know, it looks a little bit too much. Hang on, I'm gonna pause this video a second so I can look at my other stickers. Okay, I am back. So I couldn't really, well, I got lazy and didn't feel like searching through all my stickers, but I couldn't really find anything else I wanted to put there with that wonderful sticker. So I decided I would take this sticker 
and I put Wonderful on top of it because it really does match this sticker up at the top really well. So I'm gonna put that here in the sidebar. Um, and then I'm gonna put the Wonderful sticker on top of it and I think it will fit just about exactly. good. I think that's cute. All these stickers are cute, you know what I mean? You really can't go wrong with these stickers. Okay, um, there's some stuff. There's a big space here, so what are we gonna do? Let's think. <laughs> um, this is my daughter Kaylee's favorite, so maybe I could put something down here, like a little box, a little colorful box sticker or something that says Kaylee's favorite. That would be cute. She would like that too. Um, I could put this and then something, let me try this. I could put this down and then like something in the corner to cover up that part. If I put and then I have to put something else down here too because it's gonna be too, it's gonna be not enough, but I'm gonna, I'll try that. I'm gonna do this plus a little something at the top and then something on the other side. So that's crooked, that's gonna drive me nuts. But guess what guys, I'm leaving it. I am leaving it. I am not gonna be a perfectionist today. Take that. Okay, uh, this heart is really cute, and this matches the spread. I like that. Okay, that's adorable. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna write Kaylee's favorite. There you go, Kaylee. She asks me to make this every time she comes home. Of course, she's married now, so she started making it herself. Um, let's hope I have enough room for favorites since I'm not writing this out first. Look at that. Nice. Okay, Kaylee's favorite. Now I'm just gonna do something else over here and then we will be done. I don't like this. I don't know why they have this in the corner of all these. I guess it's color color coded, but it's annoying to me. I might cover that too. Okay, so I was looking through my sticker books again, and I noticed that the Socialite stickers are pretty similar in color scheme to this, to these colors, because you have your like, you see what I mean? They're a little bit similar, so. I did see these and I thought maybe I'll just fill up this area with that little bit of confetti. I don't know if that's going to look good or not, but we'll see. Sometimes when I have a space and I don't know what to put there, I will put confetti there and it usually looks really cute. I kind of like that. that. That looks cute and it's not, it doesn't take away from this. I think that's pretty good. So now I just want to find something for that corner. Maybe there's something in this. I don't know. I wish I had another one of these flowers. Actually, I would have put it there probably if I did. Um, I could just leave that corner like it is and I might if I don't find anything. What I'd like to do is cut the end off of that and make that like a triangle and stick it there, but then I won't have this anymore. Maybe there's one in the mini book. So I have the mini socialite as well. Let me see. There's a smaller one of those. I like the polka dot thing. There's also this, let me see. This one, I don't want to use that. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's this one. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it like to make it a corner that matches the rest of the spread. Because I'm not going to care about that, the color coding thing. This way, it'll be a cute little corner. Okay. If you're looking for a good pair of scissors, these Cutter B6 scissors from, I believe it's Zig or EK Success. Is that the same thing? Oh, I have to look. But anyway, they are amazing, you guys. They are so, they're my favorite scissors of all time. And so there is a link in the description box below if you want to check that out. I have all my favorite planner supplies linked down there. I'll put this back. I'm going to put that back there because it kind of matches. And then I can look, use that later. So that's it. I am liking this. Something different, a little bit different colors than I usually use. And I think it's really soft and pretty. And I think Kaylee's really going to like it. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope these recipe videos help you and give you some inspiration how to fill out your recipe planner. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell because then you'll get notified every time I put out a video. And these recipe ones come out on every Thursday. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and a fantastic week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.